Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, to? We're going to discuss something that's, I mean, the dude has always been a little weird. For those of you that don't know who Aaron Rodgers is, he's the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers for the last 17, 18 years. Very talented. Only one Super Bowl to go to his name. I could care less about that because me personally, I'm a Bears fan. So, yeah, I've always had a special hate in my heart for Aaron Rodgers on the football field. That's neither here nor no there. Apparently, they used to date old girl, the, the race car driver, the one saying a pretty girl wasn't really all that talented but they put a big push behind her because so uh, she's a woman pretty face the whole the whole woke scenario and then you had this uh, other bro i forgot her name but we're gonna talk about this dude who, who he's <laughs> this shit talk about can't make this shit up so he gets with this girl that goes by the name of <laughs> Blue of Earth. Yes, that, that that's her name now, Blue of Earth. She she recently changed her name. I'm gonna link this this article in the description box down below. But check this shit out. All right. He allegedly has a new girlfriend named Blue of Earth. Just when you thought you'd heard heard it all out of Aaron Rodgers' personal life, along comes the news that he reportedly has a new girlfriend named Blue of Earth, who seems to be really in tune with nature and medicine. Okay, you know, dealing with these women, that's you know, that's code for something else that they like to delve into that will often affect guys and can destroy your lives because what they really are is let's just read on it a tipster tells a Westmo side action I guess that's the, the paper or whatever that Blue of Earth changed her birth name Charlotte Breeriton to her new ultra hip Instagram name and that Miss Earth self describes herself as a witch. Miss Earth self describes herself as a witch and claims she's a medicine woman. She also dabbles in the podcast world. Of course she does. So a lot of these women, once they've been ran through, once they've played the role, the perfect role for themselves of being the train tracks, and they've been ran through over and over, backed up over, made U-turns over, they either go one of two ways. They either get ultra-religious, You've heard the type, oh, I'm a born again, Verge. And we all know that's just, that title in itself reeks of an unstable, a mentally unstable woman to begin with. Oh, you're a born again virgin. Oh, that's so sweet. That's literally physically impossible, but hey, let's, let's feed into your delusions more, which is why I like these run around out of control, acting the way they act, talking the way they act, etc., etc. Then you have the other extreme, which apparently is where Miss Earth decided to stray herself to, of going all the way to being a self-proclaimed witch. A lot of these women not even hiding it anymore, see. Back in the day, they would practice like little 
spells and things of this nature. And a lot of times it would be to affect a man in some kind of way. Either they wanted that man as a spouse, like you no know, boyfriend, husband, whatever, or they wanted that man to do her some favors. So what would they do? They would dabble into basic, and I say basic, because that's what it is, it's basic witchcraft. They learn like a little something, something from whoever taught them, maybe their grandmothers taught them, in a lot of cases their mothers taught them, led them to this, this kind of life. They were learning these things, and one of the questions they would ask is how do I get a man? How can I get a man to do what I want him to do? And for those of you, my Louisiana brethren, I used to hear those stories all the time about Creole women, and everybody knows the stories about Creole women and spaghetti, lasagna, any kind of pasta with red sauce in it. We all have heard these stories. We grew up around these stories. We know what kind of witchcraft would be done as far as you know even meth put it in a song on on, on uh, odb's uh debut album wicked women putting period blood and stew ain't that what they call witches brew fear for the 80 fighter don't got a clue so it's been out there it's been known and Aaron Rodgers is about to get himself into a lot of trouble because he's, from what from what I see, from what I understand, he's a stubborn guy. He's a strong-headed guy. He moves to the beat of his own drum. Uh, I don't fault him for whatever situations that went down with, with his family. Uh, supposedly, allegedly, he cut his family off because this is all allegedly. Uh, I'm thinking it has something to do with money or something to that effect. And he completely cut them off. Like, boom, you guys are done. Blood relatives are not, boom, you're done. So if he can do that to his blood relatives and family, I'm sure he has no problem with cutting women off. And that leads me to Miss Blue of Earth. You know how when they get when they get angry. You know, some of them they might want to do something to you, like the lady that decided to drive over her ex-boyfriend like two or three times. And she was angry. So imagine if he cuts off this woman and she gets kind of angry. And wherever she learned these, you know, this her witchcraft and spell out you know, spill in this, so. <laughs> spills, ideology, whatever you want to call it. What stops her from getting into female nature and doing something to Aaron Rodgers? Whether it's through the medicine, and it could be simple as poison in him. Maybe not to kill him, but to make him sick or drowsy in a very important game. Say it's a playoff game. Say it's the Super Bowl. She's not getting the amount of attention that she thinks and feels she deserves. Of course, all of this attention is aimed towards the game is coming up, the Super Bowl. So, who's to say all of a sudden she doesn't get jealous and decides to... You know, hey baby, let me make you something to eat. And all of a sudden, and it just throw it would throw off the whole thing because you got Vegas, everybody betting one side or another, and all along the common denominator that can be the difference in you winning and losing a fortune would be this disgruntled woman, self-proclaimed witch who goes by the name of. Blue Earth. I don't know, fellas. Just all I can say to you is watch who you're dealing with. It might be good in the beginning and soft, fine, and soft, funny games and everything.
thing until the mask comes off and they reveal who they really are. At least in this case, in this situation, she's actually openly admitting, hey, I'm a witch. And this idiot is like, oh, well, that's fine with me. Let's get together. Good luck, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and fuck the Packers. That being said, Red Blizzard out.